Многие наши поступки объективно объясняются внушением, хотя мы этого и не замечаем. Оленька, какого цвета пирамидки? Обе белые. Скажи, детка, какого цвета пирамидки? Обе белые. Молодцы, ребятки. А 
Олежка, посмотри внимательно. Какого цвета пирамидки? Обе-белые. Андрюшенька, посмотри, какого цвета пирамидки? Обе-белые. Оленька, какого цвета пирамидки? Обе-белые. Леночка, какого цвета пирамидки? Обе-белые. Подвинь, пожалуйста, к себе черненькую. А почему ты сказала, что она белая? Почему, детка? Почему? Не знаю. Не знаешь? Белая – это другая черная. А ты сказала, что они обе белые. Почему ты так сказала? Потому вот тоже они сказали белые. Дети сказали. И ты за ними повторила, да? А почему ты за ними повторила, когда ты знаешь, что это белое, а это черное? Я хотела. Что ты хотела? Повторить. Почему? Потому что они сказали так. Hello, everyone. Anton Parnas here. I showed you this very famous psychological experiment because it only seems to some people that we as adults are much smarter. In reality, society changes the way we think a lot. Is this the guitar teaching channel? Why do we talk about psychological experiments? Well, the reason is simple. It relates to how people learn different stuff as well, including guitar playing. How exactly? Well, ask any usual guitar player, what's the best left hand's position? There's a big chance he'd respond with classical position. Ask him why. Most of them won't know. Mostly their responses will be like, well, all other positions are wrong. Listen, there's legendary classical position that everyone teaches in the books and videos, or that guitar player plays like that, etc. Initially, when we start investigating and we learn something, we really have to forget about words like classical, legendary, and think with our own brains. If you're planning to play on electric guitar with strings that are almost laying on the fretboard, I mean, if strings are that low and you don't really care about endurance or strength of your hammer-ons and pull-offs and you'll never even touch an acoustic guitar in your life, then yeah, it's not bad at all. Initially, as I already said in the Universal Technic video, people play differently and from physiological point of view, every way has its own list of pros and cons and there are ways that have more pros than cons and some ways have only pros. I once said that I use a blues position for left hand, but then when I saw what people call bluesy one, I was like, all right, no, I never used that one. Well, probably the reason for that was that my position was developed according to how physiology works and not because uh, some guitar magazine said this position is famous now, use that one, or that guitar player plays that way and do it his way. Uh, I never copied anything unintentionally. My dad, who was a sport coach and doctor, never taught me to think like that because it's a wrong way of thinking. Well, if we open any forum, magazine, book, or YouTube video about left hand, there are tons of them these days, we'll see that either their thumbs are on the same line with the second finger, which causes tension in musculus adductor pollicis. Well, and I actually have a lot of questions to those guys who made these pictures. Uh, did they actually try to search for information or even try to use these by themselves? I doubt it. In reality, no one's gonna tell you any advantages of classical position of fretting hand. And the reason for that is pretty simple. There are simply no benefits of that. Yeah, that's simple. Mostly they will say it's anatomically better. Ask them why. They'll be like, well, it looks so airy and natural and beautiful when you put it like that. Really, well, I, I agree, the aesthetics of classical position is awesome. It actually looks better. So to bust some myths and uh, show you why I play the way I play, let's not just talk about the anatomy. Let's watch a little part of actual anatomy lecture. The closest muscles to us here are warm-shaped muscles, muscular lumbricalis. They begin from the tendons of deeper finger flexors. You can see it here. We left the flexor digitorum profundus on the screen here so that you could see it. And these four muscles bend around the heads of metacarpal bones the same way for all four fingers. Bend around and they're attached from the radius side to the beginning of the proximal phalanges of our index, second, ring and pinky fingers and also integrated into the tendons of finger extensors, 
musculus extensor digitorum. Therefore, tensing these muscles lead us to flexing the proximal phalanges of the index, second, ring and pinky fingers, but at the same time straightening the middle and distal phalanges of the same fingers. In result, we get this motion. Now the finger flexors of the internal side of our forearm. You can see the flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis, and also the flexor pollicis longus. Now we're going to show these muscles separately. Let's delete them just for a moment. We'll keep the flexor digitorum profundus. The deep finger flexor, you can see it's beginning from the elbow bone, from membrana interossea, in the forearm. And then four tendons go right to the beginning of distal phalanges of pinky, ring, second and index fingers. In order to get to the distal phalanges, the tendons are going through the hiatus tendinius, the gap that is created with the tendons of musculus flexor digitorum superficialis. Now let's see the musculus flexor digitorum superficialis. It's beginning from the epicondylus medialis of humerus. Also, we can see the four tendons that are going right to the beginning of the middle phalanges of the pinky, ring, second and index fingers. Meanwhile, we are having a hiatus tendinius. Unfortunately, we can't see it on the screen here. And through that gap, the tendons of flexor digitorum profundus are attached to the distal phalanges of the index, second, ring and pinky fingers. These few minutes will actually destroy tons of books and videos on classical position. In our playing movements, uh, muscle groups don't work separately, but in classical position, movements from the proximal phalanges are dominant, so the musculus lumbricalis group is dominant, and in my position, the forearm flexors are dominant, that are initially have much, much, much more strength and endurance. You want to see how much? Take an expander in your hand, try to squeeze it fully in classical position using musculus lumbricalis you probably won't even be able to do it fully. And now put the expander to squeeze it with forearm flexors. Easily. I'm not even talking about isolation issue when bending at the wrist joint. Try to squeeze it there. You won't do anything like that because it's just, it's just stupid. In reality, if you're seeking more strength, more powerful legato, more endurance in hammer rolls and pull-offs and want to play acoustic guitar, just like you do on electric guitar. Just add a second support on the side of your index finger. Firstly, it adds a control of the neck in space. The muscles that will be engaged in controlling its position in space won't waste energy if the entire construction becomes like a single unit. Plus, by moving your hand in, the, in this position, from classical one to this one, you're changing the balance from musculus lumbricalis towards forearm muscles, and you get a lot more strength and endurance instantly. The second support is placed on the side of our index finger, not on this knuckle, be careful with that, on the side of our index finger. Well, there's a ton of other information about fretting hands position and technique, but that is for my future videos, or you can simply join my Guitar Academy and get all of that information instantly, where I have in-depth analysis of all guitar technique that can allow you to play absolutely anything you want. Anyways, use your own brains before saying both are white. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Goodbye. Hi everyone, Anthony Powerins here. I've got great news for you. My team and I opened an innovative coaching platform. It is an international guitar school where I answer your questions every day and also I record instructional videos where I explain in details of how to develop technique on the guitar that will allow you to play absolutely anything that you want. The links to our official website and also the video with more details about our guitar school are in the description below. Subscribe to my channel, push a like button here. Thanks for watching this video. See you in our secret chat.